Scotland, a beautiful land filled with enduring mysteries. But more mysterious than Stonehenge and even more incredible than the tales of the exotic creatures that are said to inhabit Loch Ness is a story that defies all seeming logic. It is a story about a secret that has been passed down among the finest craftsmen virtually unchanged from generation to generation. During this series, we will explore the secrets of the winding Speyside countryside to reveal the art and science of whisky making. This is From Cask to Bottle, Episode 1. Hi, I'm Colin Hamden White. I'm the editor of Whisky Quarterly, and I'm here to talk to Insec about whisky making. In this episode, we will look at cask making, or coopering as it's known. The seasoned professionals, they make it look very easy. A cask is one of the most important elements in the whisky making process. And while a few modern elements help the craftsmen along, the method of making casks by hand has remained the same since the first century. One expert cooper can average between 20 and 25 casks a day, transforming ordinary planks of white oak timber into watertight containers that will last up to 100 years. As you can imagine, there have been countless thousands of hours put into creating and maintaining the casks right here at the Speyside Cooperage. Some of these casks are up to 100 years old, meaning that every drop of whiskey matured or stored in these casks is not only brimming with flavour, but is also literally steeped with history. Here is where the true artistry comes in, as coopers must often rebuild or repair casks that are more than 50 years old, shaping the wood to ensure the end result will be perfectly watertight. To achieve the iconic barrel shape, coopers use metal hoops which they adjust by hand to secure the cask before steaming it to soften the wood to create a tapered appearance at each end. Now that the basic structure is there, the science of unlocking the spices and flavours from the wood comes in. The casks undergo several stages of burning and charring to create the right balance of flavours that will further enhance maturing whisky and wine products. The coopers then seal the open ends of the casks with heads before testing them for leaks with compressed air and water. As these insect students to the cooperage find out it's definitely not an easy task. Next time, we'll look at the germination process and how a seed becomes a smooth oak-aged scotch. Follow us from cask to bottle as we discover this and other mysteries of the whiskey-making process. Thank you.